I don't think we're going to get through to uh, Anthony. Anthony? He's been on the phone. Hi, Jeremy, I'm here. Oh, hey, God, God bless you. I was just feeling, <laughs> just telling people about Molly while I was waiting for you, and I didn't know you were there. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. I heard, I heard the story. It was lovely. Well, well not lovely. But... Well, it's sad. I mean, I, I, I wish yes. I could think of some way of getting the bird back to its r- rightful home. Totally free. I did see a- I saw a headline that said it had been reunited. But well, I've story. tried to check and I haven't got that confirmation. Haven't got that well, confirmation. Hopefully. hopefully it has. How are you going anyway? Well, yeah, I'm fine. I hope you've had a good week. Have you got a pet for us? We're running out of time. I do. I do <laughs> have a pet. I've got, I've got a dog here, um, yep. an American Staffordshire Terrier called Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks? <laughs> yes. Interesting name yes. for a Staffordshire <laughs> Bull Terrier. All right. Whoever. Whoever named her must have been a fan, I think. All right. Uh, um, but anyway, she is two. Um, she is – the pro- profile says large size, but I've met her. I would say she's more of a medium. Um, there's definitely some English staffing in there as well. Yep. Um, she's quite high energy. She loves people. She loves tennis balls. Um, just a huge heart on this one, very waggy tail. And they like children, or would you suggest perhaps a, a home without children? A home without children would be her preference, as well as a home without other dogs or cats. She um, yeah. she's lived with animals before, and we, we, she doesn't like it. Okay. No, that's fair enough. Uh, what colour is she? So she's a brindle. She's two years old, a brindle. How much? Uh, $150. And that's uh, vet checked, uh, de-sexed? Uh, health, yep, health, health checked? and uh, Health checked, vaccinated, uh, microchipped, the lot. All right, no, that's wonderful. Always do the microchip thing. It's a great comfort. Absolutely, it is. We had a um, a woman pick up. She reclaimed her cat who had been lost for eight months during the week, and it was all because of the microchip. Yeah, no, it's a it's a wonderful uh, advancement. You never really lose a pet if you have it microchipped. Uh, no, we, we don't. Is that a picture? That's Molly. Oh, that's Molly. Oh, that's the bird. Oh, yeah. Tony's just got me a picture of the bird oh, and, the, and the dog, the staffy and the dog, and the bird is just curled up with the dog. I mean, how anybody could be so heartless to go and uh, take that uh, bird away from the family that it loves, I've got no idea. All right. How oh, no, do, how do people, people go to your website if they want to have a little look at uh, Stevie Nicks? Absolutely. Yeah. So she's at our Wingfield um, shelter. Uh, so if they want to find out more about her, they can go to our website, awl.org.au slash adopt. Um, find her profile on there. And then if they want to meet her, they can just visit us at Wingfield between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. from Tuesday to Sunday. All right. And you've got plenty of uh, puppies and pussycats and God knows what to choose from, I guess. Hundreds, yes. <laughs> we have almost, uh, almost 200 animals available for adoption. You've got a full house, I guess. Oh, uh, we do. All yes. right, all right, my friend. Anthony, thank you so much. Um, Anthony Cochran from the Animal Welfare League. Is it better to go to the website or to ring you? Either one, either one. Um, What's your number? Do you, you want to give the number? Yeah, so our number is 8348 1300. All right, Anthony, thank you. And remember, if you're writing up your will or something like that and you're looking for a good cause to which you would like to give some money, uh, you couldn't do better than the Animal Welfare League. They do a lot of wonderful work.